Well, today is the day of the release of the All Hells You skin pack. And to add to that excitement, Ed Boon and a few from NetherRealm Studios took to Twitter over the weekend to give fans more clues as to what the next big announcement for the game could be and who it could be for. But before we get to that, guys, make sure to hit that like button because liking these videos lets know that you love them. And make sure you smash that subscribe button notification bell so you miss any videos just like this one. Let's get to the news. As I said in the intro, we got additional clues from Ed Boon on Twitter over the weekend. The first being clue number four and hashtag is actual clue number four has the caption six degrees and a photo of Cobra. After going back through previous hints about Cobra, fans found out that there was a song titled Six Degrees by the band Cobra Skulls. Some of the lyrics of that song match some of the clues Ed has been giving us over the last few weeks. Fans seem to be split though on having Cobra in the next DLC, but I am personally okay with having him in the game. The second clue from Ed was a photo of, as Google titled it, a Caucasian businessman at gunpoint, with the caption, next DLC is... Fans again did their detective work to find out exactly what the clues mean in regards to the upcoming announcement, and a user by the name of at Fanboy Molina found a clip of Aaron Black holding a gun to Rain, who is on the ground and has Aaron's foot on his neck, very similar to the situation from the picture Ed tweeted. With this clip, many immediately thought that this was one more confirmation that Rain would be in the next DLC. Also from that clip, Molina saves Rain from Aaron Black, and many were happy to think that this could mean that we get Rain and Molina, but I wouldn't push it. While not an outright clue, Ed went on to tweet a photo by Boss Logic of the final fight scene from The Karate Kid, where Ralph Macchio is in the crane kick stance. While this photo could obviously be a nod to the MK character Cobra, many were quick to point out that Ralph Macchio in the crane stance is a nod to the MK character Chameleon. According to his wiki, Chameleon who made his debut in MK3 is a male ninja who utilizes camouflage and has all the abilities of every single male ninja to appear in Mortal Kombat 3. He is possibly a part of the Saurian race of which Reptile and the female Chameleon are members. He even shares similar features with the female Chameleon in both of their appearances, furthering the speculation. In Mortal Kombat Armageddon, he is finally given a rather vague backstory, saying that he had been present at the events dating all the way back to Liu Kang's victory in the first Mortal Kombat tournament, constantly remaining hidden in the shadows and biding his time while watching the events unfold. With the possibility of Chameleon in the next DLC, many thought that meant Reptile would have to be included as well, but maybe it means that we could actually get a second ninja skin pack. Twitter user Velocity Ross pointed out that the title for the current ninja skin pack is called Classic Arcade Ninja Skin Pack Number 1, and has classic ninja skins for Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Noob Saibot. With the possibility of a new ninja skin pack, we could get skins to make the ninjas we do have look like rain, reptile, smoke, etc. So while we got all these clues and hunches that lead us further to who we think could be in the next DLC, we also got, unfortunately, deconfirmations that eliminate at least two characters. First character deconfirmed is Havoc. With Shang Tsung's ending in Mortal Kombat Aftermath and his mentioning of his pursuit of the Chaos and Order Realms, many immediately thought that Havoc must be on his way to Mortal Kombat 11. But gamer Lossy Girl commented that a tweet from Ed Boon could mean that we could get Havoc, and he replied with no. So I guess that means sadly we aren't getting the Cleric of Chaos. The second character that was deconfirmed was Ermac. User at the Thinny retweeted a reply from senior QA analyst at NetherRealm Studios, Stephanie Brownback, who replied to one of Ed Boon's tweets with a caption alluding to possibly Ermac being the next DLC. Stephanie responded with, not anymore, he's dead, impaled on a spike. So there's another character we can cross off the list, unfortunately. Okay, so we've gone over the latest clues and deconfirmations, so let's go over the characters that have been regularly discussed, but not yet deconfirmed by Ed or NetherRealm Studios, and are basically wild cards for the next DLC at this point. Natara. The user at the thinny summarized the clues up and guessed that all three clues could lead to Natara. Natara has wings and can be a flying thing. She is a vampire and can be someone's nightmare. And there are six letters in her name, N-I-T-A-R-A. -A. Sounds pretty solid to me. According to her wiki, Natara, who made her debut in MK Deadly Alliance and was also in MK Deception, which happens to be the sixth MK game, searches for a mysterious orb that bound her realm to Outworld. With the aid of Cyrax, she is able to obtain the orb from Onaga's incubation chamber and is able to return to her home realm. She makes appearances in Mortal Kombat Deception and Mortal Kombat Armageddon, but the last time we saw or heard about Natara was in Mortal Kombat X comic series, where she was mentioned by Quan Chi, who gave Havoc her blood magic in exchange for retrieving the Shinnok's amulet, and is also in the latest of the animated movie, Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge, where she is seen as a bystander watching early matches of the MK tournament. She is also set to appear in the upcoming Mortal Kombat movie reboot, and given Shang Tsung's ending that hints at the Chaos Realm, we could possibly see her in future DLC. Next up is Smoke. Continuing with the Nightmare on Elm Street tweet, with many moving on to the word Elm in reference to a tree, this has led many to believe that the MK Sage, the Living Forest, could somehow be involved, and that led to the theory that Smoke could be the next character to be in a DLC. In the trailer for Smoke as a DLC character for the Mortal Kombat mobile game, you can see Smoke emerging from the Living Forest. I'm sure for many, getting both Smoke and Living Forest Age would be a great addition to Mortal Kombat 11. Next up is Stryker. After Ed tweeted about Nightmare on Elm Street, many theorized that he might have given us a clue with the word street, possibly talking about the Mortal Kombat 3 stage, The Street. From there, people immediately 
thought of Striker. It's been so long since I played MK3 or Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, but I remember Striker with this map and the map with the desert. As I've said in the previous videos, we haven't seen Striker since MK9, and I don't know why we haven't seen him since since we have Sonya, Jax, Cassie, and Jackie. Next up is Kenshi. After Ed tweeted to his followers, what game are you shocked never got a sequel? I originally tweeted my response of my all-time favorite video game, The Legend of Dragoon. Ed replies to his own tweet with Smash TV. Later on, he tweeted with the video game PsyOps. Interestingly enough, PsyOps was made by Midway Games, the same people who made Mortal Kombat, and the main character of PsyOps has a sword and powers, which reminds me of the MK character Kenshi. So I replied to Ed's tweet and said, hmm, the character from PsyOps reminds me of an MK character we haven't yet seen in Mortal Kombat 11. Hashtag Kenshi. I unfortunately did not get a response from Ed, but I'm not losing hope that he could make a return to the game. And finally we have Reptile. While MK11 players have been able to turn Scorpion into looking like Reptile, the last time we saw Reptile and had him as a playable character was in MKX. He plays an instrumental role in Kotokan unseating Melina for the Outworld Throne after he reveals that Melina is a genetic creation created by Shang Tsung and not Shao Kahn's biological daughter, thus making her ineligible to rule Outworld. Reptile serves as one of Kotal's enforcers along with Aaron Black, Ermac, Farron Tor, and is next seen investigating dead bodies left by the treacherous Devora after she betrays Outworld by stealing Shinnok's amulet. Reptile who uses invisibility to fight Takeda, but is defeated while his comrades are incapacitated by the Earthrealm heroes. Kotal declares war on Earthrealm as a result, and during the ensuing invasion and battle, Reptile temporarily blinds Takeda by spitting acid in his face before he's defeated by Jackie Briggs. With Havoc and Ermac, our list of deconfirmed characters is at 5, but let's recap the other three characters that were deconfirmed as not being in the next DLC. Ash Williams. A user by the name of at too good in underscore said in response to Ed Boon's Nightmare on Elm Street tweet that it's Ash Williams, obviously. His character is perfect for the franchise considering he's jumping through time and etc. In which Ed replied, I can tell you it's not Ash. Sad face with a tear, hashtag deconfirmed. Next up is Michael Myers. Ed then went on to tweet a gif of Michael Myers dancing with the caption, I'm dancing because it ain't me, putting to rest all the theories that Michael Myers could be in the next game. I honestly would save Michael Myers' as a DLC character for when Halloween Kills comes out. That way it gets people excited about the movie and the game. And finally we have Melina. For those who are saddened over the news of the character so far, the final nail in the coffin was when Ed tweeted a reply to at L underscore Baruka underscore 81, who tweeted a video clip from KM Peel where the president is shaking hands with people and when he comes across an African American he shakes their hand and is glad to see them. But th when he gets so shaking the hand of a white person, he doesn't feel the same way towards them. Throughout the clip there are captions of each character's name that gets their hand shook, and the last character to get their hand shook is the white person who's captioned Melina, insinuating that the clip is how Ed Boon feels about his characters, and all the kickback he gets from fans because he hasn't put Melina in MK11 yet, and honestly doesn't want to hear about her anymore. Ed responded to the video by saying, LOL, at Melina, come on now, girl needs a break. So given that today is the release of the All Hallows Eve skin pack, that means that announcement for the next DLC or something for Mortal Kombat 11 should be happening any day now, within minutes, within hours, hopefully, something soon. But until then, let me know what you think about the clues that Ed Boon gave over the weekend, what you think about the clues, the deconfirmations, and who do you think should be in the next DLC for Mortal Kombat? Ed Boon did say that the clues that he's given is not just for one particular character, but is for multiple people, we think. So, let me know in the comments below what you think about the clues, and who do you want to have in the next DLC? And that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you want more videos like this one, make sure you smash that subscribe button notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time on The Mashup.